REO Speedwagon did go Barry Manilow in the 1980s. Money Michelle Morrison. These are facts that Mr. Morrison is speaking because they were best known for their hard rock in the 70s. And they, did, they did have some good ballads in the 70s, which included Time for Me to Fly. When the 80s came, Keep on Loving You. It was definitely Barry Manilow territory. Take It on the Run, a definitely a better song. That was more of a power ballad. Then, of course, the wheels are turning later on, around 1985. Can't fight this feeling. Solidified the Barry Manilow of Ario Speedwagon. And we continue with more ballads, which throughout the rest of their releases to this date. At least, um, the Good Trouble Blob had good songs like Heat, The Fire, Burning Girl, The Heart of Gold, Stillness in the Night. If you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there that is subscribed, thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. Yes, the High Infidel Infidelity album did sell 10 million copies, but did Keep On Loving You alienate the REO Speedwagon fan base when it hit the Barry Manilow territory? What do you think, friends? Shame? Shame? Shame.